Um, excuse me? What the hell? That penguin just launched us up. Why are these rocket Kairukus? What the hell? Probably shouldn't have wasted my expensive bullets on them. What the freak? <laughs> Male rocket Kairukus. I have never. That was hilarious. I have never seen that happen before. Do I have a better weapon? I thought I had a sword or something. No. They actually did some solid damage to us as well. Maybe we should have let these guys kill us. I wonder if they... I mean, they're not going to... What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another Primal Fear episode for you guys today. And today, guys, we're going to head out, and we're going to see if we can find a fabled Mega Chelon. Now, if you guys remember correctly, a while back, we were trying to get a bunch of rare mushrooms and rare flowers, because a lot of the kibble and all that sort of stuff relies on having rare flowers and rare mushrooms. And uh, obviously, as you guys are probably aware, Mega Chelons will passively generate it over time. However, Fabled Mega Chelons will do it at a crazy fast, really good rate. So that's the goal for today. We're going to try and get one of those made up. We're also going to go ahead and try and make ourselves one of these primal bows, one of these bad boys, because I feel like these are the best way to go about getting stuff knocked out, although I am slightly confuzzled as to why this costs extremely more than this does. What the hell? They're the same arrow, they're the same bows, right? Yeah, what the hell? Ascendant Primal Compound Bow, Goliath Primal Compound Bow. I mean, honestly, I'll probably go for this thing, this one here, because that will probably be easier to make in the long run. Why is the lower damage higher cost? That, it's opposite. What the hell? Is that because you don't want to be dealing more damage? That's super weird. That is, that is very strange. And I don't know why that is like that. Okay. Nonetheless, yeah, we're going to see if we can find a fabled Mega Chelon because we can whack it in. We'll take these bullets and we'll take these bullets. We're going to whack it in one of these generations things and it'll passively generate stuff because like we are set for eggs forever. Like we don't need eggs because we've got it on a server this time around. Last time we were playing on single player. So every time we logged off, the world would freeze. So there wouldn't be any egg generation or anything like that. But because we're playing on a server this time around, you can see here that we've actually got access to these, which allows us to passively generate the eggs over time. Which is awesome. So, yeah, we've already got uh, 165 of these boss eggs as well, which I believe is what we need to make the next tier of boss kibble as well as omega kibble. Now, though, I actually just realized we have turned off auto engrams as well, so I have to relearn all the engrams as well. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm pretty sure that uh, the bows are the best knocking out stuff, especially based off of the, the level that we need in order to learn the arrows because the bullets are actually lower level. You can see there, they're actually lower level. Primal infused. And it looks like the origin bullet, which if you guys remember was something that we used to knock stuff out because it would knock stuff out over a 30 second period. But you can see there, it provides the creature with two times melee, two times speed during that time. So they've actually changed it. Instead of a bullet, it's now an arrow. So I'm that makes me just even 90% more sure that it is... The, the arrows that are better. So yeah, we've got tons of eggs. We've got not that much kibble, but like in terms of resources, we've got heaps. So we've got a decent amount of resources and the rare flowers and rare mushrooms are really the things that we're struggling with at the moment, which is what we need to sort of get up and running. And I've got some food in here that we probably need to start turning into, into jerky. We'll grab this stuff out because that's already done up. And that can go in the fridges over here. But yeah, so the plan for today is to try and get a Mega Chelon. I just need to make sure I should have enough bullets. We have a bit of kibble. Um, we've still got a bunch of food here. I think I've got a couple bits of kibble in here somewhere. Maybe. I swear I had fabled kibble. No? Any here? Oh, okay. Maybe we don't have any fabled kibble. Uh, let's come in here though. We should be able to make it. So yeah, we're going to try and track down a fabled one. I'm hoping we have enough vegetables okay cool 
Sweet. That's all done. Yeah, I actually haven't checked our vegetable situation. Okay. Here we go. Our farm's all up and running and looking nice and schmick. All right, we got... I mean, we got a decent amount. We'll probably need to expand on the farm a little bit to get some more veggies and stuff like that going. Was that the... I hope that was the thing. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, we've, we've got a little bit. Not a lot. I definitely think we need to expand our farm, though. That's for sure. All right. We're also looking at uh, expanding the base as well. And you can see the new Yggdrasil tree is now present on Fjorda as well. So you can see that across the whole map. I'm not exactly sure how much it contributes to... to the load uh, of the map. But someone has decided to park their... <laughs> their feather lights around our base. And I don't know why. Is there a new section of the map that I'm missing? Is that... Why? No. Maybe? I don't know. Possibly. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> someone's decided to just whack some feather lights all around the outskirts of our little castle. Not gonna lie, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. A little bit uncomfortable. And they, they go the whole way around. I don't even know if I can actually build around that. I don't know. All right, we've got our Mega Raptors up here as well. Uh, we're gonna grab... Our... Archaeopteryxes should be in here somewhere. Yeah, we'll just grab this one out. That'll do. We just need a flyer to fly around on. Alright, let's grab this kibble out. Kibble, yoink. And take that. And yeah, and then what we'll do, if we can get the... If we can get the bad boy, the Mega Chelon, what we're going to do then is we're going to try... And probably farm up some resources, I would say, because we need to make one of those bows. But like I said, I don't know if we should go for the higher damaged ones or the lower damaged ones. I don't know, because the lower damaged ones cost a lot less, and it's very confusing. All right, let's fly around here. It is coming up onto daytime here, so thank God for that. We need to go ahead and see if we can... We're going to just kind of float around the ocean. It's going to be hard. I'm assuming that we don't have to passive tame them like they're normal... Standard counterparts. I'm assuming we just have to fable kibble them and knock them out. That's what I'm hoping for at the very least anyway. So we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm a little bit... I've just noticed my health as well. I don't know why we're so low on health. But yeah, we need to get into the fabled Mega Challenge. Once that guy's tamed up, we'll then have pretty much an infinite source of rare mushrooms, rare flowers and all that good stuff. And then what, we, what else we need to do is we need to try and... Get into the Amiga tier. Because we need Amiga eggs. This is a max level Tyranodon. Kudos to whoever knocked this out. Is that guy still up here? I don't know how I feel about you just still being present for everyone. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. But uh, yeah, it was only present when you would go into Vanaheim. But it looks like that's changed in the most recent map update. So that's... Uh, I mean, it's cool. I like it. I, I would... I'm doubting it's causing... It would cause much lag... And stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're going to cruise around the ocean. We're going to see if we can find uh, a Mega Chelon. And then once we... Ooh, that's a lot of the bad stuff. Once we find it, then I'm not sure how we're going to go ahead and tame it. I was thinking we probably should have brought like an Indominus. So we could just walk through the water with him. I mean, swim through the water with him. Because we do have our Apex Indominuses that we, we uh, raised and stuff like that. So that might be an idea, but yeah, we're going to just cruise around. We'll see if we can find a Fabled Mega Chelon. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it being any level as long as we can tame it. Alrighty, guys, we've got some good news. We have a Fabled Mega Chelon in our sights. It's level 300. It's going to take 15 kibbles, so we're actually going to need to go back to base for it. I did not realize it would need so much kibble. Now, my only issue is it's got 3 million freaking Torpor as well. That is absurd. That's higher than the freaking... Bosses that we tried taming up last episode. So we're gonna jump off here. Can I still see it? I don't I don't I'm pretty sure our gun doesn't fire in the water, so we might have to rethink our strategy here a little bit. Why did that make no noise? Oh, that's weird. The gun loading up loading didn't make any noise. Okay, there we go. Where'd he go? We need to try and kite him over to an island or something in hopes that we can get him to possibly surface. Where is he gone? Or she? I don't know what one it was, but there it is. Okay. So it's a male. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure... Unless I can, like, ride on the back of it. That's an Alpha Meg. i got to be careful, though. Can I land on you? I 
feel like this is probably a bad idea. I didn't realize we could fire our gun underwater. Bro, go away. Aki, Aki. Did, did someone say we're going to tame an Alpha Megalodon today? Okay, he's asleep. There's the Megachell on. It did 30k torpor. We're going to need a lot of bullets. Can I land on your back, mister? Reload the gun. I mean... I don't know why we're not taking oxygen damage. Like, our oxygen is not draining whatsoever. I don't know why. Is it... Oh, probably because, probably because of the Mega Chelon. But I mean... I don't know if I have enough bullets for this, to be honest. <laughs> because, yeah, he's just... He's got a lot of torpor. Three million torpor. All right, let's take a look here. At least now we're taking oxygen damage. Uh, which ones are we using? Nine times. These ones should be double. I think he doesn't seem aggressive, which is a good sign. I'm hoping that if we have to go back to base to make more of these bullets, we're not going to lose too much torpor on him. But like... <laughs> I mean, he's at 420k. We've got 90 bullets left. I probably should have made some of the higher tier bullets. I've got the long neck as well. And we have some darts. But, like, I don't know if we can... F I'm pretty sure we can't fire that underwater. If I can kite this guy to, like, land... That would be, like, swell. I mean... We might have enough bullets here, to be honest. This is why I like the gun more than the bow, though. Because you can use the gun underwater. I don't know if you can use the bow underwater and, like... You can, like, rapid fire with this thing as well. The bow, you've only got, like, one bit of ammo. Ooh, I don't want it to hit me. Oh, that hurts. Okay. So, if I can... I wish I could kite him to land. I don't want to lose sight of our Archaeopteryx, because if we lose sight of that, we're going to be pretty screwed getting out of here. Oh, leave me alone, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, now we're just stuck inside of him. At least he's refilling our oxygen. <laughs> That's a uh, bonus. Alright, we just hit the 1 million mark. Hallelujah. 2 million more to go. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get this guy with the stuff we've got at the moment. I don't know what I was expecting. I was not expecting them to have this much torpor. And he's not even like a max level. He's only halfway there. He's level 300. Imagine if we tried going for a max level Mega Chelon. Bloody hell. I mean, I, I didn't want to be picky, but I'm going to have to go back and make some more tranks, I think, because we're pretty much fresh out. i got 10 more bullets left, and then we're going to have to switch it up. All right, we're at 1.5, so we've got halfway. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that I cannot fire these underwater. I'll give it a shot, but like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't. No. Um, alright. I'm just praying that his torpor doesn't drop super fast. It doesn't look like it is. If See, if we could kite him to land, we would be able to, to use the darts. But I don't know, he's kind of running away from us. Or even if I had a griffin. A griffin would be swell, because we could just fire into the back of him. Alright, I think he's trying to run away because his torpor is high, or he just can't hit us. I'm not entirely sure. I was about to try and shoot him there. Because if I could... Oh, that's a big boy. If I can get on his back, then surely it'll count as me standing, right? So I should be able to fire this. He's just way too fast for us. Okay, well, I mean, honestly, this is going not as smoothly as I was anticipating. I was hoping it would go a lot smoother than this, but nope. Nope, we definitely came underprepared for this, I would say. Alright, I'm going to try and get it on his back. If I can make it? No. There is no way we're getting on his back. Alright, I mean, he's almost at 2 mil. I am going to have to go back to base. 
At least when we get back to base, we can make some more kibble and bullets up anyway. And then we won't have to worry about going back once we knock it out. I'm just trying to get on his shell so I can try and use these darts. Dude, let me on yourself. Ugh. I've got 42 bullets left. There's no way we're going to be able to get him knocked out. But I can get him close to 2 million torpor. Because I don't know how, many, how much our darts would do. Alright, I'm going to try and bail here. I'll try and shoot him with the thingy. What I'll do is I'll try and jump off our Archaeopteryx. Yeah, see, I hate how we can't... You good, dude? <laughs> but that's not going to kick us off. Alright, let's... And is he out flying? I think he's out swimming us, too. Even on our Archaeopteryx. No. Okay. I'm going to have to fly back to base. We're going to grab... Shit. We're going to grab some more bullets. We'll grab some more uh, kibble as well. And then we'll come back out. I don't think he's going to get tracked though. That's the shitty thing. We got the bloody thingies. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back dude. Come back, come back, come back. Here we go. Is this working? Keep cruising around like this big dude. I don't know if this is working or not, but... He hit us. We're hitting his shell, so I don't think we're hitting... I am trying to hit his head, but like, we're a little bit limited here. Oh, that one hit. He took about 100k torpor, I think. Or well, I mean... I'm guesstimating. That one hit. Oh yeah, he's taking about 100k torpor damage per dart. Which if I can keep hitting him in the head would be swell. It's kind of working. We're hitting him in the shell. I, I want to get a bit closer. Oh, he's taking us for a swim. Okay, never mind. We tried. I mean, we're gonna we'll just go back to base and make some bullets. It's just quite a distance of a way back to base. This tree is really throwing me up, throwing me off with the map. All right, I'm hoping we can come back and he's still here and no one else has tried taming him up. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh god, guys, and we're in trouble. Uh, we were flying back to base and there is an Origin Argy after us. I don't know why it aggroed on us for. I didn't even see why we were flying back. I'm just going to try and lose it by flying very far away from it. I've also realized that I need to get another bloody Megaraptor or Archaeopteryx because this guy is slow as hell. Alright, I think... I think we're in the clear. That was genuinely terrifying. I just heard the boss music and I was like, I don't see anything. Neck minute, turn around and there's a freaking Origin Argy trying to come for my booty. Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Alright, base should be just up here. I'm really hoping that the Mega Chelon hasn't lost too much, um... Torpor. These, uh... These... Feather lights are really, um... What are they called? Yeah, for the lights are really kind of creeping me out. I'm not going to lie. A little bit worried about them. And I think we'll be okay though. Alright. You chill there. Let's come in here. Okay, we need bullets. Uh, what do we want? We want apexes. We need apex infused narcs. Oh man, I didn't learn all the narcotics. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So we want narcs. Alright, cool. So I've got a couple of those. Oh, do we want alphas or primal? Let's go primal if I can. Yeah, we can go primal. Awesome, they'll do. And I need more toxic narcs. So I need... Yeah, see, this is where we need the rare flowers and rare mushrooms for because they're just crazy. Alright, so we made 50 of those. So we can go ahead and make... 41 of those, and then we also need Fabled Kibble, which we need three will go, because just in case. Three of those, and then bullets again, and then we want to make as many of these as we can. 15, and then as many of those as we can. Because I know we've got some Apex Infused Narcotics in here. And then, yeah, we, we I still am confused about the bow aspect of things. I'm still very confused about the bows because, like, the, ch the the lower damage ones cost less. See? They cost less. And I'm so confused as to why that is. 
Because ideally you would want something that deals more damage. Because then it would apply more torpor, right? And like, even with that bow, you're not gonna be able to kill something that you're trying to knock out, right? Like, surely not. Alright, that's all the bullets. Let's grab those, grab those. I probably had some bullets somewhere around here anyway. Alright, uh, what else are we gonna grab? We're gonna switch up here, we're gonna grab... Oh my god, look at all these eggs. I'm gonna grab you. There we go. And you can get a few points into HP. That'll do. And then dump the rest in movement speed. Let's go. Alright, that should get us back over there a little bit faster. I'm hoping. Hopefully we don't come across that freaking Origin RG again though. Alright. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so sweet. We're gonna head back over to the uh, Mega Chelon. Ooh, there's the RG. Let's stay away from that guy. No, yeah, that's the RG. We're gonna head back to the Mega Chelon. Hopefully we can find it again. Hopefully someone else hasn't claimed it because we did all the bloody hard work on it. And then we should be able to knock it out with the bullets that we've got, I'm hoping. Okay, guys, we are back over here. We found our Megalodon that we knocked out. Fabled Mega Chelon. He's so far nowhere else to be seen. I'm going to help this guy out. If I can catch this little bastard. Why did this thing die? Okay, well, I mean, good news is it looks like it's off that dude. Alright, where did I make it? Ooh, there's another Origin. Kano, okay. Oh, there he is. Alright, sweet. Shit, that is a Primal Kano. That will most definitely try to eat us. I'm hoping it's not going to try and eat our... Make a chill on. I don't even know what bullets I was using. The wrong ones, apparently. Uh, primal infused, yes. Reason I crafted up more of these as well is because we'll probably use them to try and get... There's a Chaos Rex up there. Is we'll probably use them to try and get some Origin Tames. How much... Do... I'm scared. I don't know. I can hear the music. It's terrifying. Archaeopteryx, mate, you stuck? I know you're not supposed to be flying through water, but... I don't know what's going on with it. I'm assuming it's lag, but I know it's not. Unless it is. Alright, let's try and catch him. I don't know what's going on. It's not lag. Alright, I'm just going to keep swimming. I, he's just in his own little world, I guess. Where is he? He's just... He must be stuck on something. Dude, just chill out. Okay. Can I... Can I shoot it? I don't know what this thing's doing. I kind of need it to get around. Alright, whatever. Um, it's just on, in its own little universe. Let's see if we can track down the dam. Make a chill on. Over the dramatic bloody Primal Kano music that's playing. If I die, we can... Oh, he's right there. If we die, we can always come back out here. I'll just have to find that damn Mega Chelon again. We also don't really want to go too deep in here, because it's... Oh, here he is. Can't see... Okay. Well, I mean, we're in for about 50k per bullet. Based on the Torpor increase. Don't go to the Primal Kano, please. Boom. Got him. All right, sweet. Our Archaeopteryx is just getting higher and higher and higher. Doesn't matter. All right, let's come down here. Let's tame this guy up. We've got the 15 fabled kill kibble. Hallelujah. We're never going to have to farm for freaking rare mushrooms or thingies ever again. All right. Uh, tame helper times 200. Activate. We could tame that alpha meg. We don't actually have anything to take in the water. I don't think we really need to go into the water for anything, but like, it'd be nice to have. Why is its food not draining? Did that not work? Okay, one of those worked. I don't know why, but the massive one didn't. That's okay. Alright, sweet. He's getting tamed up. He's going to tame up without an issue. Our Archaeopteryx has just got an... <laughs> he's, he's just taken off into the damn stratosphere. 
I don't understand why, but that's that that is okay. This guy is about to tame up here. And then we're never gonna have to worry. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Not having to worry about damn rare flowers and rare mushrooms. Because you guys saw we need a lot of those to make the lower tier narcotics. In which case we need those to get the higher tier narcotics. So it's just kind of like never ending. Now I don't I'm gonna just soul ball him because I don't really have a way to get back to base without dude up in the stratosphere. Is it just the kibble? Oh my god, what the hell? Why does that say death cash? Don't tell me I just killed it. What the f freak? I don't have it. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, my heart. I saw death item cash and I was like, what the freak? How did it die? Okay, that makes me feel better. I'm glad it's not dead. I have no idea where our birds went. Got no idea. Um... How the stuff in hell am I going to get back to base? Only way I can think is if we die. That's, uh... That's probably the only way we're going to get back to base here. And if we get another flyer out here, because... I can't even see ours anymore. Oh, hello, Dodo. Are you an angry one? Tech Parasol? Alright, we should be okay. Let's come over here and annoy these guys. That's a demonic Parasaur as well. Did he just die to the, the Dillo? I think he did. Oh no, he's running away from it. Who is this guy? Who is it? Neptune. Alright. You should definitely fight that. Can we... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna see if it aggro's on the guy. Okay, wow, that actually didn't... Can we tame this guy? Why is he not aggroing on us? Oh, I don't know if I have the capacity to tame a, a demonic parasaur yet. I don't think we can because I'm pretty sure we need Amiga eggs. He's coming after us, that is for sure. <laughs> I kind of just wanted him to attack the other guy, not me. <laughs> pretty sure I'm faster though. Okay, yeah, okay. Maybe not. This demonic parasaur is really after us. Okay, he's stopped now. Alright, uh, we're going to need to get something to kill us. I don't want to get killed by the demonic parasaur because... Trying to reclaim my body while that guy is around is going to end in probable disaster. We found Gabrielle here. Hello, Gabrielle. Oh, there's two Gabrielles. Sketches. Wonder what happens if I... Surprise? Fabled Mega Challenge coming at you? Can I access his inventory, please? This guy is big. Oh my god, he's massive compared to the normal sized ones. Look at the size of this Chungus. He's huge. I love him. He's my favorite. What is this back? Some berries. Okay, here we go. Nice. All right. Uh, I don't know if there's any way we can increase his production. Let's cry him up, though. Thanks, fellas. You let me in your home? Oh, hello. Oh, I did not realize I could steal stuff. I mean, everything is locked except their smithy. <laughs> Your stuff is mine. All right, well, I mean, we're going to leave these guys. I should probably put this stuff back in their smithy for them. I don't want to be mean. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put the oil in. They can thatch is easy to come by. There you go. You're welcome. Let me out. Alrighty, well, I mean... Uh, we need to find something to kill us. Actually, let's not do it here because I have a feeling those guys will totally loot my body. And I think you can in PvE mode. So, uh, let's just run away and find somewhere else for them to... What are they riding on? A parasol. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Alright, yeah, we need to try and get our body back. I don't know where the hell our fly is gone. He's just... He's gone. We're, we're not holding out hope for him. Malin Tyranodon, level 80. Alright, um, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of want to find somewhere secluded for us to die so that nobody can loot our body. Because I don't... Um, excuse me? What the hell?
that penguin just launched itself? Why are these rocket Kairukus? What the hell? Probably shouldn't have wasted my expensive bullets on them. What the freak? <laughs> Male rocket Kairukus. I have never. That was hilarious. I have never seen that happen before. Do I have a better weapon? I thought I had a sword or something. No. They actually did some solid damage to us as well. Maybe we should have let these guys kill us. I wonder if they... I mean, they're not going to... Okay. It seems to me that they still explode when you want to hit them. Let's get out there and get our body back. Okay, good news is the Rocket Kairukus did not destroy our bloody into obliteration. Which is great. So we got our gear back, but we also... Please don't tell me you're more, more Rocket Kairukus. No, you guys are just the normal variant. That was... Extremely weird. There's a cool base up here, though. I've just come across this. Beached Bobs. Knock, knock. I mean, I don't know if there's anyone still living in here. There's definitely... I have screwed the pooch very hard on this one. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a ramp. And there's water, thankfully. Okay, well, that was reassuring. And there's a ramp up here. Let's get up on this ramp. I want to see if we can get into the backside of it. Do a little bit of PvE action. If I can get onto these bloody rocks. This is a very bad spot for a tech bridge, I must say. <laughs> Alright, let's get my B. Offline damage is prevented, but I mean, I'm going to try something. Can I? I'm pretty sure I can't get in here. What have they got in there? Anything fancy? I mean, just the standard stuff, but it's a it's a cool base spot. I don't think there's any way for me to get in here. Because I'm pretty sure that's just the glass windows. Alright, that's fine. Let's head back to base. I'm going to get this Mega Chelon out. I, it dropped 150 rare flowers and rare mushrooms on being cryoed up. So I don't know how quick its generation, like its passive generation will be. But we'll find out. I've got to be careful because the Origin RG is right over here in this near this red drop. And I wanted to hit it up, but yeah, there it is. Alright, let's not go near that. Let's just come around here. This tree is still throwing me off. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. All right, let's get over to base here and let's let's throw out our Mega Chelon for a bit and see how it goes. All right, guys, this big boy is just literally blocking everything up. It's so annoying. I can't get in the base or do anything. All right, chill there, chill there. Hold on. Why is the battle music playing for? Oh, maybe he stepped on the Dimorphodon that was over there. Maybe I, I'm assuming that's probably what it is. All right. We should be okay. Let's come in here. I was trying to check out our gacha because I know we tamed a gacha up. I just don't know where he is. So many eggs. I know we tamed a gacha up. I'm trying to find him in one of these things. Advanced search. Gacha. Hmm. I know there's. I know we have a gacha around here somewhere. The fabled gacha that we tamed up. Not too long ago. Okay. I want to... I'm trying to get the passive generation going on these guys. So... Options... Modern mesh... Private blah blah blah... Collision... Dynamic text... Automation... Fertilized egg... Fertilized egg incubation... Unfertilized egg... Passive generation... Misc poop generation... That's probably what it is that needs to be activated. Poop generation... And that should be everything. Poop slot allotments... I don't know. I don't know. So what I'm going to try and do, because I want to see... Because if we can get these guys producing crystals for us, it's going to be a huge boost. Alright, we want to go... Probably... You know what? Polymer will probably be worth more. I would say in the long run. And we got these gatches as well that we can throw out. I can't breed them. They're both females, I think. Yeah. Production, sap, oil, crystal, flint, thatch. Honestly, go oil for you and then... Production for you, we can go black pearls. Now, I know this isn't going to really matter because we have a bunch of stuff here, but I want to, I'm want i just trying to get these thingies up and running properly. The soul terminals? All right. Hopefully that will cause them to start producing their crystals. They've already started producing poo for all the dudes in there. 
Which will be good. Alright. Uh, Omega Chillin, as far as I'm aware, has not produced anything. Oh no, I stand corrected. 150 already. So that is nuts. That's been about two minutes. And we've already gotten more rare mushrooms than we've managed to get in the entirety of the, the whole series, I reckon. So that's pretty crazy. I am super happy about that. All right, what I want to do is come into here. I am going to go with the bow. Bok. Bow. All right, let's take a look here. 493, 8172, 7300, 9000, 4000, 4000. See, look, look at that. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Surely, surely it's got to be the higher damage will be better. Surely, right? I'm going to go for the cheaper one, which is this. I'm going to see if we can make this. Uh, where is it made? In the smithy, I'm assuming? Primal smithy? Yeah. Let's come into here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can already make it. Done. Craft one of those bad boys up. I probably should have done some, uh, some whatchamacallit, but that's fine. All right, so I wish I had a dummy that I could test the torpor mechanics on. Um, actually, hold on. We kind of do. Uh, upgrade station, upgrade station. Let's come into here. We want to put that in there. And that's the damage reagent. So we want to augment. Augment. So we're already at 550. Damage. Can I make 10 of these? Nice. I am going to have to go out and do a metal run because I don't think I've got much metal left. Yeah. I've got a little bit left in the resource box. We've got tons of crystal, tons of hide, tons of stone, thatch, wood. The metal must be floating around elsewhere. Chitin and black pearls and all that sort of stuff. So we do need to do a bit of a metal run. Alright, where are we going? In here. Alright, augment you. I'm pretty sure this doesn't go as high as the god lieth, but like... Alright, so 700 is the max. Let's grab that, put that down there. Those are the primal... Yeah, you know what? Let's use that because we've got primal trank bullets and we've got primal trank arrows. So... There is scary battle music playing and it's making me extremely uncomfortable because that origin RG could be very close by and could very well deem it worthy to murder our base. Oh, okay, that's why we got battle music playing. There's a Primal Kentrosaurus down there. Okay, there's a Fable Mantis. Kind of want to kill it, but I need I don't have my chainsaw on me. All right, that's fine. The Primal Kentro can't get up to us for the time being. Who's that? That's a Phoenix. Apex Phoenix, level 5. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. Actually, this can be our test dummy. I'll probably get one shot if it, catches, if it gets over here, but you know what? That's fine. Let's load everything up. 176k. Alright, I'm going to use the arrow first because you know roughly how much the bullets do, which is about 50k. Oh, shit! Okay, so the arrow did 170k torpor. Kind of crazy. Alright, well, I mean, we got ourselves an Apex Phoenix, level 520. We need 10 Apex Kibble. Uh, that is kind of crazy. Well, at least we know that the bow is the best weapon for knocking stuff out, I suppose. That comes in handy. Let's go Apex Kibble here. All right, we needed 10 of those, which, yeah, we can make. Awesome. Yeah, um, I wish I had a way to test this. I don't think the dummy, we can, I don't think we can use the dummy. I'm pretty sure we can't use it on our own dudes. Actually, hold on. Before I waste a bullet, uh, a, a very expensive arrow, let's, let's go ahead and bring that uh, down. Oh, I do have my chainsaw on me. Let's go do that. And then, what are they? Apex? That's whatever, that's fine. Let's this is just a test if we can actually use this on our own dudes. Is he taking any torpor damage? Alright, so he's not taking any torpor damage, which is wait, did he take torpor damage? Okay, he did. So he took about about 50k torpor from that. That was also 50k from that. Oof! That was about a hundred and 30k torpor from one arrow. That's a big difference. But like I said, I still don't know if the bow is better. Purely because with the, the gun, we can fire it off rapidly. The bow, we have to fire one arrow at a time. So I don't know if it's worse or better. I don't, I don't know. 
I guess we'll just have to mess around with it for a little bit and play around with it. But we've got to do a lot of grinding for some resources and whatnot. Before we do that, though, let's get down over here to this guy. Hey, mate. How you doing? Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the party, Mr. Apex Phoenix. I've always wondered one. Are you burning me? No. That battle music scares me every damn time. I don't know why the two, the 100 one doesn't help. It's only the 50 one that seems to help. Alright, well, I mean, we got ourselves an Apex Phoenix. It's not max level, but it's pretty damn close at 520. Plus, with the with the gun, we've got the magnifier and everything, and we can rapid fire. I don't know how I feel about the bow. I know it's better, but, like, in terms of overall better ability, is it really better? That's, that's the question we need to ask ourselves here. Because I don't know. Where are you going, dude? Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to ride it. Can I? Do I need a saddle for you? No, we don't. What are your stats like? 288,000. You make cute noises. Okay. Uh, that was sick. Oh, shizes. Okay, 195k damage off one ability. Not gonna lie, that's kind of crazy. What is that? Is that just... Okay, that's just the waterway. Yeah, uh, that's kind of nuts. That is kind of crazy. Hey, who destroyed our oil? That was where we had our oil thingy. Someone's destroyed it. Or a dino. Most likely a dino. Um, yeah, okay, that was kind of crazy damage. I need to put another oil vein thing there, though, so we can get that up and running, so we get some oil going. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Well, I mean... Hey, what the hell? Are they from this dude? We've got one flower and one rare mushroom. Strange. All right, I'm just going to cry this guy up. He's obviously producing stuff. So we should be able to just whack him in. Because I'm pretty sure these... I've lost an Archaeopteryx. I have no idea where it's gone. I'm pretty sure these Soul Trap things amplify the amount of resources. Not the, the production rate of the resources, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, we got poo going on in here. Let's drop you in there. I don't want any more poo. So let's turn poo generation off. Poop generation. Turn that off. I'm just trying to get the fabled gatches. The gatches to produce stuff. And then the Mega Chelon should produce while in here. Fertilized Egg Collection Incubation, we don't want. That we don't really care about. Passive Generation, we do. Misc Poop Generation, I would have thought that would have set the thingy up. The gacha, huh, I'm not sure. Alrighty guys, nonetheless, we're going to wrap the episode up here today. we got this brand new Phoenix, which honestly kicks ass. It's super awesome. we got the gacha, the gacha, we got the Mega Chelon. Oh, and it's cooking the meat in its inventory. Hold the phone, hold on. Can we... I'm assuming we can't harvest stuff up. I love how we can still move, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit. The poor rock. The poor rock elemental. It didn't even have a chance to go back into its normal form. It's just stuck as being a rock. I was going to say, can we... Um, harvest up the resources with the phoenix? Because I know the normal one, or one of the normal ones, you could... Holy smokes. That is kind of crazy. All right, let's harvest this guy up. Yeah, I was just seeing if we could possibly harvest up metal nodes with it, because then we could just cook it all in that. That doesn't be appear to be the case, though. That's fine. All right. Well, guys, yeah, like I was saying, we're going to wrap the episode up here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.